You can easily hide text by simply changing the attributes associated with the text. Once that's done, you can turn the display of your hidden text on and off as described in this video. Plus, you can independently control the printing of hidden text. Hidden text is text that has the hidden attribute applied. Well, that may sound circular, but let me show you what I mean. I'm going to go ahead and select some text right in here, these three words, and then I want to display the font dialog box. A quick way to do that is to press Ctrl D, and that displays the dialog box that we want to work with. Note this option right down here. It's an effect called hidden. If I select this option and then go ahead and click on the OK button, watch what happens to the text that I had selected. You can see that the text now has small dotted underlines underneath it. In fact, if I click over here, then you can see those dotted underlines a little bit easier. This indicates that the text is marked as hidden. Well, if the text is hidden, you may wonder why it's still visible on the screen. The reason is because I have the Show Hide tool turned on up here in the Home tab of the ribbon. If I turn off the Show Hide tool, keep your eye on the hidden text. I click on it, and now that text is gone. Except it isn't really gone. It's just hidden. You cannot normally see text that is formatted as hidden unless you have the Show Hide tool turned on. I click it on and it displays. I click it off and it goes away. It's still there. It's just hidden from view. If you don't like to keep the Show Hide tool turned on, you can still tell Word to display hidden text. All you have to do is go over to the Word Options dialog box and click display here at the left side of the screen. Now I can click right here where it says hidden text. I select that checkbox and click on OK. My hidden text is still displayed, but notice that I have the show hide tool still turned on. Now if I turn off the show hide tool, my hidden text is still visible on the screen because I've told it to remain visible even when show hide is turned off. You need to be aware that turning off the display of hidden text presents a large potential gotcha. When you turn off the display of hidden text, it doesn't show up at all on your screen. This makes it very easy to delete hidden text without even realizing it. This is especially true if you delete larger blocks of text, such as entire paragraphs. The best way to guard against this potential gotcha is to make sure that hidden text is always displayed when you're developing or editing your document. In this way, you can be certain you won't inadvertently delete it. Now, so far, I've only talked about how to display or hide hidden text. Word also lets you independently control whether hidden text is printed or not. You can control this by visiting the same dialog box that I showed you just a moment ago, the Word Options dialog box. And then we're going to click Display here at the left-hand side again. This is what we looked at just a moment ago. Remember that this option right here controls whether hidden text is displayed even when the Show Hide tool is turned off. But there's another option down here. Notice this option. This option controls whether hidden text is printed or not. This control is independent of the control up here that controls whether it's displayed or not. What this means is that you can have the display of hidden text turned off, but still have it print out. Or you could have hidden text displayed, but still have it not show up on a printout. The bottom line is that if you choose to use hidden text in your document, you need to be very aware of the status of these two checkboxes. Now that you understand how hidden text can be marked, it's display controlled, and it's printing controlled, let me give you a very practical example of when you might use hidden text. 
I'm going to do that by displaying uh, another document that I have open on the screen right here. This other document contains a student quiz about dinosaurs. You can see that it's visible on the screen now. I purposely used very simple formatting in the document. You'll note that I have a, a, a bunch of spaces followed by either a T or F to indicate whether that question is true or false. And all I've done is I've used the underline tool to underline everything uh, that is uh, included in this blank and this answer. So it's everything right up through close to one space away from the actual question. Everything that I have selected right now is marked as underlined. You can see that on the home tab of the ribbon up here. But then what I did is I went back and I selected just the T or the F and I marked that T or the F as being hidden text. So the T and the F are both underlined and hidden text. Now watch what happens when I turn off the display of hidden text within this document. Notice that the T's and the F's went away entirely. Assuming that I turned off the printing of hidden text, I can now print a quiz that is ready for the students to use. If I turn on the printing of hidden text, I'll just turn on the display of that text right here. Then what I have is an answer key for the quiz and I can print this out if I want to. In other words, instead of creating two documents, one for the quiz and one for the answer key, hidden text allowed me to combine both of those into a single document. I just have to control what's printed to get whichever one that I want to have at the current time. I can either get the answer key like you see on the screen now, or I can get the plain quiz that's ready for the students to use. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you discovered how hidden text could be used to enrich your own documents. I would invite you to click the subscribe button and the bell icon. That way YouTube will let you know when new videos are added to the WordTips channel. Thanks for spending a few minutes with me today.